Yoski Broskies, this is Zach Cloud um, with Plants vs. Zombies, the No Sun Challenge. And this is this is actually post commentary for the first half of this video. Because I figured it I don't know how many tries it's gonna take me to beat this level. You guys saw how many times I was already failing at it. So, I figured I'd better just try a whole bunch of recordings and keep whichever one I end up winning on. Uh, and, well, it only took me that one more try. Maybe it was because I uh, was, uh, you know, not concentrating on talking, or I don't know. I think it was just luck of the draw but uh so now i gotta think of stuff to talk about while uh, sitting here watching the video uh, uh what does the fox say <laughs> anything any guesses like from you guys uh i kind of think that they say like uh yip or uh, I don't know, I think Yip, with a P, uh, is a pretty good equivalent to several of the sounds that they make. Um, I'm curious because I think that in some languages they actually have an onomatopoeia for foxes, and uh, but I don't know what they are, I forget. But I'm pretty sure that a few cultures have a sound set for them. Uh, speaking of uh, animals and stuff, I recently saw the anime Wolf Children, and it was really good. It uh, kind of almost had a Miyazaki feel to it, almost a Studio Ghibli feel to it. And uh, very, very good. I really recommend it. It kind of brings to light the uh, trials and tribulations of being a parent in general, let alone with just the complications of uh, the kids randomly transforming into wolves and all. I had to get that pea shooter down there as quick as I could, but that's cutting it awful close. Uh, we'll see what happens. I honestly don't really... Yeah, I, I figured I'd better slow him down a little since I got a late start on him. And then I figured I'd better start fortifying the water now that the ground is, you know, already secured for the time being. And all I could do was keep waiting on the sun so I could do that because I wanted to get a uh, snow piece on the water. And fire in the sky! Yeah, I don't have to hum right now because I'm not... Well, I might still have to synchronize this audio. Who knows? And yep, we got someone in the water already. And then I was going to place it, but then I figured I'll wait until he's closer the same way as I do the land lanes. So that's what I'm doing, just waiting it out. Going to let him get a little closer. having to get a lot of blood drawn lately. Oh, lots of, uh, here we got the, uh, falter here. At least I managed to react to it in time. Uh, that was close. But, uh, when I was a kid, it used to be such a big deal, but that was also because I had troublesome veins and they always screwed up. So I always ended up in a lot of pain and, and things always going wrong and stuff. But it seems like now that I'm an adult, everyone, it, it's not just that I got tougher, but they seem to finally be doing it right now. Or maybe they have the better needle technology, I don't know. But it seems like they're, you know, doing a much better job now. So now it's not even a big deal anymore at all. Um, okay, 
one of the big waves, one out of three big waves, is on the way. Doom, doom, doom. Hope not. Put that bucket head, uh, I was probably figuring, well, that's going to be a problem. Stopped trying to get the uh, lily pad down and opted for the wall instead. Because, yeah, there was no way that lone pea shooter was going to be able to take him out on its own. No, sir, Bob. Braids. So, there we go, just waiting that one out. It's a shame that in the water I had to put a regular pea shooter, because, uh, yeah, I couldn't afford the snow pea at the time. Oh, and here comes the dolphin. I had to act fast. So I put that down there using what I learned, the fact that if you have a snow pea, you should be able to take them out within two squares, although sometimes it cuts it pretty close. So we'll see if that worked out or not. Meanwhile, going ahead and putting down a snow pea on the top. So I'm like, yeah, finally. Meanwhile, that big tall nut is already gone at the bottom. So, uh, I think that I, yeah, I barely noticed it in time, but that worked. It's just a shame to lose such an expensive piece of hardware so early on, but it did its job. I noticed that it's lucky that the vaulters keep coming at the top where I already have a walnut. So I was like, that's fortunate. Um, uh, whoop, more dolphins, but that lane is far ready. In fact, I could have probably moved the lily pad up another one because with the double firepower, he's probably going to die pretty quick. But still, I didn't want to take chances. Um, I think I mentioned this somewhere before, but I have gluten intolerance, which means I can't eat anything based on wheat or even having touched it. And that sucks, because that takes out a lot of eating out options at uh, restaurants. Oh my, a couple of cone heads in the water. That's going to be a tough one. Let's see, what do I do about that? I hope I did something about that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Um, yeah, sometimes you notice things in, in when you're watching the video that you don't notice while you're actually making the video. A lot of you have probably been kind of shouting at me before, like, why aren't you doing this? Or why aren't you paying attention to that? It's, I can only notice so many things at a time. <laughs> okay, and I'm going ahead and putting a big one there since I can afford it. help safeguard that lane against other things too, like bucket heads if they come. Speaking of which, went ahead and put down a potato mine for the inevitable case of that walnut failing at the bottom, which happened just now. And I was like, I hope it'll take them both out, but it looks like they're getting kind of strung out. Uh, meanwhile, in the water, I'm like, oh no! lanes looking fine. I figure I'm gonna wait with putting up the uh, lily pad until I need it because the 
walnut is not ready yet. And then I see that the top lane is in trouble, so I get that down just in time. Top lane is having it tough. That's where I was wishing that I had the uh, uh, spike strip things, spike weed, because that would be helping so much. Uh, but not much I can do other than add extra firepower. That's all I could afford, and I needed it as quickly as I could. And that seems to be pretty effective. Alright, now we got the dolphins, so we gotta take care of the water lane. Got it. Another bucket head in the water, that's gonna be tough, but at least we got the snow peas on the case. Once we get those diver dudes out of the way, I mean dolphin dudes. But anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to preserve that wall and prevent it from getting eaten. More bucket heads all over the place. My poor tall nuts are getting so beaten up. I still can't afford extra firepower for the top uh, second lane. And another big amount are coming even though it's not time for a uh, giant wave. So you put that there in case the bucket head eats that walnut. Ugh, I have to keep stopping and restarting the recording. But yeah, that was close up there. But yeah, the, the recording keeps freezing up. Well, that jumper kind of mess things up for me, because now there's no potato mine left to take care of that bucket head. And there's another bucket head coming down at the bottom! Oh dear. I'm getting stressed just watching this even though I know I make it. <laughs> What do I do about this? I might actually... Let me see. I'm thinking that I was going to just let the bottom lane go for now. That might be what I'm doing. Nope, I guess not. Don't know what good that'll do me there. But yeah, it looks like the bottom lane is being let go. Because it's almost time for the last wave anyway. So... That makes it, uh, uh, it's probably going to be safe. Yeah, it's a shame to lose plants and sun and stuff, but that's just the way it's going to have to be in this case. Pop. There we go, final wave. Everyone's just popping up everywhere. I still want to preserve as many lanes as I can. At least the potato mine took care of the Zam Zamboni. Yeah, I would still like to, uh, you know, keep as many of my refrigerators intact at the end of the lanes that I can. So I'm working on that. Taking out what I could in the water lane. Making my stand. What else have we got? I could, yeah, potato mine wouldn't grow in time. So I'm all waiting on the. Uh, on something. And I'm like, well, where should I use the squash? The water lane or that? I'll just use it on him. 
and for some reason it's not going. I don't know if it's this special edition is broken or what. I figure, well, maybe when the wall is down and he starts moving, then it'll realize he's there. Because it's supposed to sense you if you're one block away, no matter what direction. And it's not going! So, whatever. Now I'm left with only two furnaces instead of three. Whatever. But we made it! Yay! Woohoo! End of, uh, post-commentary. Hello! We heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. Oh, boy. Many, many things, but it's a roulette level. I love these things. I kind of get spoiled sometimes. And sometimes they give me too many lily pads. get to show off these uh, three Peters. Get to see what they can do. That's probably going to be our main arsenal in this level. Rather handy. That last level was really tough. Yeah, I, I did it with post-commentary because it was just too much for me. And I thought it would take me a whole bunch of more tries, but in fact it only took me that third try. Which was a pleasant surprise. That's how the torch work wood works. Wood works, wood 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 works. There, now we gotta go. Plenty of firepower. Yeah, I have it easy in these uh, roulette levels. So much easier than uh, trying to do it uh, with the sun limitations. See, now that there is no sun, it's easy as cake. I wonder, which one is it? Easier, easiest cake or easiest pie? Which one do you think it should be? I think I heard pie earlier than I did cake. However, when something's a cakewalk, it's supposedly super easy. So, I think both would be really. I don't know, what, what do you guys think it should be? Let's not wait too long for an answer when I'm still recording. <laughs> Got, uh, oh, my report 
tall. He's so tough. Even though it's painful. <laughs> Get more stuff in the shops as soon as I can. <laughs> whoosh! It's just so much whoosh, and he's dead. <laughs> Let's get this in here. Oh, look at all that firepower! Just raw death zones. <laughs> Take a lot of ice for the mob's letters to try to come. Yeah, that surprises me. But at least I'm breaking the sleds quickly and taking care of them quickly. Oh man, I'm in the money on this level. This is great. Burning like crazy. I might be able to get that extra slot that I've been coveting for a while. I thought before I wouldn't need them so much, but uh, how wrong I was. Keep uh, filling it in here, even though I don't really need to. It's just kind of hypnotizing and satisfying to watch all this stuff just tearing it up. Good shape here. I like this. Ooh, rich! Filthy, stinking rich! Final wave. Let's just blaze it. waiting on this last bit because it didn't have torch wood. Let's just put it there for the sake of completion. Oh! What is this cute little soldier? Sea shroom! Aquatic plant that shoots short-range spores. Spores? That means it's a mushroom, which means another night mission. This time, night missions with pools. Well, this is Zach Cloud, and I'll see you guys next Saturday when we encounter this new world. <laughs>